I like being a pathologist because you get to really be incorporated into uh, a lot of different aspects of patient's care, and you get to be in charge of the diagnostics. It's really interesting because you're constantly feeling like you're investigating what's going on with the patient, and you really have to know all of medicine. There's chemistry laboratories, there's the blood bank, there's coagulation laboratories. These are more specialized types of tests. There's also hematopathology, which deals with any diseases of the blood. There's anatomic pathology, which handles pretty much all patient specimens, so any tissue, any biopsies, any sort of cytology, so things like pap smears or urine tests. These are all handled by anatomic pathology. First, metatarsal, head bone, uniform. Whatever we see will be described, and then we'll select whatever pieces of tissue that we think need further examination. How big is it? What color is it? Are there any disruptions? Do you see any lumps? Anything that just looks unusual there? Then the next step is looking at the slides and making both a report and coming up with a diagnosis. Have you had your blood drawn before? Yeah. Okay. So this should be easy. Where does my blood go after it's drawn? And why do you have to take three or more tubes of blood at a time? When you get your blood drawn, it's put into different tubes, and the tubes have different additives to them, mostly to keep the blood from clotting, but also just to make sure that they're well prepared for the next test. And so a tube that can be used for one set of lab tests, let's say that can be used to measure blood clotting time, can't necessarily be used to measure electrolytes or the different levels of lipids in the blood. Are you anemic or do you have an elevated number of white blood cells or platelets? And then a CBC, a complete blood count, is also really helpful. It measures the levels of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. And that really kind of gives you a good overall comprehensive view of how your body's working and tests multiple different systems. The most important thing is for you to talk to your physician, to have them help explain to you any questions that you might have. And they can also help keep you healthy and understand what's the next step for you.